Do you ever purchase fruit at the store only to have it go bad a few days later? This can be frustrating, especially if you don't know which fruits ripen after you buy them. In this video, we'll explore the ripening process of various fruits and discuss which ones continue to ripen after you bring them home. But before we get into it, if you would like to see more videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date. It happens to the best of us. We go grocery shopping intending to buy perfectly ripe, fresh produce, only to find that certain fruits have become overly soft. Their skins turn from a vibrant red to a yellow, and they've lost all their taste in an unexpectedly short window of time. Picking your produce can be tricky. Some fruit will stop ripening the moment it's harvested, while some fruit continues to ripen while it sits on your home counter. Here's a few fruits that keep ripening after you buy them. Bananas. One of the more obvious entries on this list is the banana, as it's known for requiring a blast of ethylene within a ripening room before it hits the shelves to help remove the green from their peel and help some of the natural sugars and flavors come forth through the manual ripening process. When shopping for a ripe banana, look for ones that aren't fully green or deep yellow. Avocados. We all know how hard it can be to find the perfect avocado. This is because they are harvested before ripening and are sent to distributors and retailers in the hope that they will achieve peak ripeness before they reach the consumers. When choosing an avocado, use both color and feel to find the best fruit. First, choose one with a dark but consistent color. Take it to the palm of your hand and gently squeeze. If it yields slightly, it is ripe and ready to use. Peaches. Fresh peaches are a great summertime treat. When buying peaches, choose fruits that smell sweet. They should have a creamy yellow or yellow-orange color and unwrinkled skin. Just a word to the wise, red color doesn't mean that a peach is ripe. Red skin is normal for certain types of peaches. Peaches will continue to soften after they are picked. In the store, look for peaches that are fragrant and have a slight give when you squeeze them. Plums. When shopping for plums, look for fruits that feel heavy in your hand and has a slight give. Soft plums are already past their prime. If your plums are slightly hard, you can keep them at room temperature in a paper bag for one to two days to allow them to ripen. Unlike bananas and peaches, a plum's flavor does not noticeably change as it ripens, only its softness alters. Rock melon. It's hard to know how to tell if a melon is ripe. When shopping, look for a slight indentation on the stem. The netting, the pattern on the melon, should be raised and the exterior should be golden, not green. Like plums, good rock melons should feel heavy for their size. If you pick one that's just a little too green, store it in a paper bag for a day or two, and it will mature. Blueberries. Choose firm, dry, well-rounded, smooth skin berries that are bright blue with a slightly frosted look. Reddish blueberries aren't ripe and won't ripen once picked, but you can use them in cooking. Avoid blueberries that are soft, shriveled, or have any sign of mold. Frozen berries are generally picked at peak ripeness when they're the most nutritious. And research shows that freezing helps preserve their nutritional content. Tomatoes? Look for fresh tomatoes that are plump and firm with smooth, shiny skin. The color should be uniform. Contrary to popular belief, you should not store fresh tomatoes in the refrigerator. This can turn their flesh mealy and reduce their flavor. Instead, store tomatoes in a cool, dry place. Now here's some fruits that don't ripen after picking. Strawberries. Strawberries don't ripen once they're picked, so if they don't look ripe, they never will be. Select strawberries that are rich and uniformly red. Avoid mushy berries that exhibit signs of mold. You can find fresh strawberries in the grocery store any time of the year, but they're best during spring and summer, fresh off the farm. Pineapples. Pineapple is another fruit that's picked when it's as ripe as it's going to get. Pineapple can keep on the counter for up to three days after bringing home. After that, it should be stored in the refrigerator. Look for pineapples with green leaves and firm flesh. Don't worry about the color or whether the leaves pull out easily. Neither is a true indicator of ripeness. Watermelon. Watermelon is in season in summer. A ripe watermelon is one that feels heavy for its size. The outside should be firm and free of nicks or dents. You need to know how to tell if a watermelon is ripe because this fruit won't ripen off the vine. Look for a buttery yellow spot on the melon. Apples, no matter what variety, should be picked at the peak ripeness and kept in the refrigerator. They should last for several weeks. Modern storage techniques makes apple available all year round, with peak season being in the fall. Like other non-climacteric fruits, cherries, grapes, and citrus fruits don't ripen once they are severed from the plant. What you see in store is what you'll get at home, and all of these fruits should be stored in the fridge to keep them from going bad. 
If you'd like to learn more about best food and handling practices at home, we have a bunch of free courses available on our website. And if you're into all things green, hit that like and subscribe button to stay updated. Together, we can help the world go a little bit greener.